excited to see you this morning. Did everyone here have a breakfast this morning? Did everyone here? So that's our physical food, right? What is our, what do we want to start every day with for our spiritual food? What do we want? Yes. We want to talk to Jesus. That's right. Did how many here talk to Jesus this morning already? Amen. Do you know Jesus is your best friend? Do you know, boys and girls, when I was your age, and actually from the time we were really tiny, um, our, our, my mom and dad taught us the importance of prayer, of talking to Jesus, about telling him every single thing that's bothering you, to thank him for the good things that are going on in your life, to really talk to Jesus. Can, can, does anybody here have a best friend that's here? You have a best friend? Do you, how often do you think you talk to your best friend? Every week. Every week? How, how many talks to a best friend every day? Who's your best friend you talk to every day? Claire. Claire. Well, can I, and you have a best friend you talk to every day? Who's that? Um, Javian. Well, guess what? You can sit down because you know the best friend that's the bestest friend you can have you should talk to every day is? Is what? Is Jesus. Do you know, when I was a little girl, my dad's a pastor. But when I was real little, um, he was what we called a call porter back then. Do you know what a call porter is? It's a literature evangelist, somebody that sold religious books. And guess what? If my dad didn't sell any books, we didn't get any money. And we kind of need money to live, don't we? Because money buys things to, for, your, for your house and it, it provides food for you. Well, one day, we always, and in our family, we always started with family worship every morning and every evening. And one morning at family worship, our dad brought all my brothers and sisters. I had, there was five kids. Two, I had two brothers and two sisters, and we're all in the circle after worship to have our prayer. And Daddy says, kids, I need you to pray for Daddy today. I haven't had any book sales for a long time. He says, I don't know why, but God is testing us right now, and we are going to be faithful. But we, would you please pray that God will, will give me some book sales today because we don't have the money to pay our rent. We don't have any more money for food, and we really need to have, Daddy needs to sell some books. And so at worship, we all held hands, and we prayed that God would give, give our dad a really good day that day and, and sell lots of books. Well, later then, we, my sister and I, Linda, walked to school. It was safe to do back then. And, um, and, and we, as we were walking to school, my sister Linda said, Brenda, I've got a good idea. I said, what's that? Let's pray for Daddy today, and let's just pray for him all day long. And I said, well, yes, we're going to pray. No, 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 I mean, let's really pray. She said, here's what we'll do. After school starts, I will raise my hand, and we went to church school. She said, I'll raise my hand, and I'll ask to go to the bathroom. And then I'll go to the bathroom, and I'll pray for Daddy. And when I come back, you wait a minute, and then you raise your hand. And you go to the bathroom, and you to pray for Daddy. And let's do that all day long, and let's pray for Daddy. Let's put God to the test. And I said, that's a good idea. So as soon as that we had our morning worship for our, uh, school, and Mr. Hinckley said, okay, kids, get your math books out. And I saw, winked at Linda, and Linda winked at me, and she put her hand up. And yes, uh, can I go to the bathroom, please, Mr. Hinkley? And he looked at her like, you couldn't have done that five minutes ago before class started. And, uh, but he just shook his head. He goes, fine. And so she gets up and she goes to the bathroom and prays for daddy. And then when she came back, she winks at me. And then I waited a couple minutes and I put my hand up. Yes, Brenda. Uh, can I go to the bathroom, please? And he looks over at Linda, and he looks at me, and he goes, fine. And he lets me go to the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom, and I pray for Daddy. And then when I got back to my seat, Linda waited a few minutes, and then she put her hand up. And all day long, first Linda went to the bathroom, and then I went to the bathroom. And Linda went to the bathroom, and I went to the bathroom. All day long, we went to the bathroom praying for our Daddy, praying that God would bless him and that he would sell some books. 
We could not wait to get home. We didn't even stop by the candy store or the toy shop on the way home to look in the windows. We literally just went all the way home. As soon as we got home, we were waiting. Dad, Mom, Mom, is Daddy home yet? We were a one-car family. And she says, not yet, not yet. We're looking out the window. We're waiting for Daddy to come. All of a sudden, we hear Dad's car. He's here, he's here. Come here, quick. Sister, 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 he's here. Linda and I are standing at the door. We're waiting for that door to open. And when Dad walks in the door, he's got a big old smile on his face. And we said, Daddy, Daddy, did you sell any books today? I sure did. He goes, I sold more books than I've sold, I think, all month. And we got so excited. And Linda says, da uh, da Daddy, Daddy, uh, what time did you have that first book sale? Well, I think that was probably about 10 o'clock. Linda goes, that was me, that was me, that was me. I was praying at 10 o'clock. And so then I said, well, Dad, Daddy, when, when did you have your next book sale? Well, that's probably about 11.30. I go, that was me. I was in the bathroom at 11.30. And we got so excited. Daddy was telling us all the experiences and the, all the opportunities he had to talk about Jesus. The next day on our way to school, Linda said, Sis, we got to pray again. She said, Look, God blessed all day long. Daddy hasn't had that many sales in over a month. She said, Prayer really works. We got to pray again today. And so as soon as class started, Linda raised her hand to go to the bathroom. And the principal looked at her like, uh, he goes, let me guess, you want to go to the bathroom? And she said, uh-huh. And so he just said, fine. And so she went to the bathroom all day long. Again, Linda went to the bathroom, and then I went to the bathroom. And Linda went to the bathroom, and I went to the bathroom all day long praying for Daddy. And when we got home, we couldn't wait for our dad to come in the door. And sure enough, he had a big old smile on his face. Daddy! He said, I sure did. In fact, I have sold more books today than I have the last three months. And we were so excited. Daddy, daddy, daddy. And we were so excited. We decided the next day we'd have to do it again. And so the third day we were all day long praying in the bathroom for daddy. For raising our hand, going to the bathroom, praying for our father. But this day when we got home, our father was already there. And he didn't look too happy to see us. Girls, in my office, now. Have you kids ever heard a tone like that from your parents? Don't answer. <laughs> but you know if you heard a tone, especially if they say your middle name, you're in trouble, right? Brenda K. in my office. I know I've got, I, I, I got some explaining to do. So dad's office was, we had, you know, was really a desk in their bedroom and Dad and Mom said, I mean, Dad says, okay, girls, sit, sit down. We're sitting on the bed. Dad's sitting in his office chair. I got a call from your principal today. He seems to think that you girls have some kind of a bladder problem. <laughs> and I want to know what's up. And I whispered to Linda, we can't tell him. Prayer really works. We, 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 we can't tell him. And Dad says, oh, yes, you will. Now start talking. And so the whole story spilled up. But Daddy, we've been raising our hands and going to the bathroom. We've been praying all day for you. And, and prayer really works. Daddy, you've said it yourself. You've sold more books than you ever have. And when our father realized that his girls were in the bathroom all day praying for him, he say, opened his arms wide. He said, get over here, you old half pints. And he gave us a great big old hug. And he got a little teary-eyed, and I pushed away from him for a moment. And I said, but Daddy, now what are we going to do? Now that we can't go to the bathroom and pray for you anymore. And our dad kind <clears> of <throat> cleared his throat, and he said, you girls keep going to the bathroom. I'll take care of your principal. <laughs> you know, boys and girls, Jesus answers prayers. He loves you. He wants to hear from you. And he is your best friend. Before you leave, I have a special gift here. Lisa, if you bring a bag, and if we could have some volunteers here that would help us pass out. I've got some cute little kids' time pins here with Maxwell on them. And, if we've just, and as soon as you get your pin, you can go back to your seat. And I want to tell each one of you, remember, boys and girls, it's kids' time to share Jesus. What is it? Say it with me. It's kids' time to share Jesus. As soon as you get your pen, you can go back to your seat. God bless you.
what I enjoyed about that story in particular is our children are going to be pressing us now to pray. Isn't that all right? They'll be pressing us.